see all those newspapers outside Mrs. Podetsky's store? What's the matter? Come on, spit it out. Out of all the paintings in the whole entire museum, your dick gets hard under the mutilation of St. Barbara. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I said anything. You didn't have to. All I had to do was lean against you. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to understand why. They cut off her breast, Vince. They were torturing her. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. She was being mutilated. And yet she wore the most peaceful look on her face. She's a saint. <laughs> Saints <laughs> felt pain. Not in medieval art. They always painted them with those serene looks on their faces. They must have. They were human. Must have? What? Every living thing feels pain. Don't do that. What? You don't answer my questions. <clears throat> I, I did something? I I don't remember hearing any questions. You, I asked you, you asked me questions? One question. One. One fucking oh, question. And what happened? It got lost with all the other unanswered questions. Somewhere there's a closet and it's filled with everything I've ever asked you. Well, <laughs> I, I would apologize, but that would mean I'd have to know what you're talking about, and I don't. He used to do that. Who? Oh, my father, he was too busy to answer my questions. He continued conversations without me. I was left behind, wondering what he mumbled. You know, she must have had at least six newspapers outside her door. I don't believe you. I mean, I, I hope that she's not dead, the poor thing. You're doing it again. What? You cast me out of the conversation. You love to see me helpless, asking questions, waiting for answers that never come. What, what does this have to do with the museum? It's a trigger. A what? Another trigger. You can tell the end of a relationship when anything serves as a trigger. The sweetest, nicest comment can cause a homicide. Look, I didn't even want to go to the museum. Well, you should have said something. I would have gladly gone alone. It wouldn't have been the first time. It... And we don't spend two hours there, which is what you promised. You know very well how I am about closed up windowless places. Even three hours I could have handled, but no, it was six hours I wanted to rip the art off the fucking walls. You kept leaving, coming back, leaving and coming I, back. I needed air. You needed to smoke. You must have stormed out five times. I could have enjoyed myself a lot more without a screaming four-year-old by my side. It was six Fucking hours! Why do you have to yell? Because you affect me. The things that you say, the things that you do affect me. And when I get affected enough, I get infected. I get infected. You just go on and on until nobody understands what the hell you're talking about. Well, why I yell? Didn't you just ask me why I yell? All I did was bring up the painting. Okay, here we go. This is the part where Paulie feels Oh, oh, oh right. Quit that third right? bullshit. Bullshit. Quit that. And then that. she purposely mixes things up to make me if he's totally misunderstood. Right, so now it's my fault. Yeah? You and your fucking games. You have to stop that. You have to stop fucking yelling. Just yeah. Fucking yelling. You think that's yelling? That's not yelling. Oh, this is yelling! Oh, you, you are just never straight about how you feel. You... You keep everything inside, you, you you store it up until then then one night, like tonight, then when I'm not expecting it, and then wham, you just hit me with this shit. And then but I need days to recover, to to trust you again. Will you just spare me these surprise attacks? Hardly a surprise, Vince. We've been fighting all day. Not you. Me. I fight. I'm the one I express how I feel. Not you! You just pop a pill. I'm the one that makes an ass out of myself in public, not you. You just pop a pill and you're perfectly fine until we close that door. I'm hardly fine. What? 
You never admit anything. Even when you're upset, even when your insides are ripped apart, you don't admit it. You're like this piece of ice that doesn't melt. How can you be everything inside? I mean, don't you just want to explode? If I did, you wouldn't even notice. Ugh. You'd never hear. You enjoy this, don't you? No, not at all. Bullshit! I'm in knots here, but then again, you like me in knots to the point where I can barely speak. Just twist them this way, twist them that way. One day I'm just gonna dive out that fucking window. You like yourself too much. You couldn't imagine life without you. Oh, thank God. <laughs> that window is just a window. It's a hole in the house. Some people look out them. Some people jump out them. But you, pretty Polly, you want them all sealed up. I don't you dare I... touch those curtains. Now that's you. That is so you, how Apra fucking Poe, just like that fucking cell you locked me up in all fucking day. It's called a museum. Yeah, and then you ask me why I yell. Oh my god. Would you, would you care to hear my theory as to why? I know why you yell. No. You have no control. God damn it. I'm talking about the museum, about the painting. I'm waiting. She was, she was obviously transcending whatever torture Mutilation they were inflicting? According to the painting. It was the painting that triggered the erection. Go on. Did you see the look on that girl's face? I mean, nothing could dim those eyes. They, they saw something. Something divine. And oh, I'm listening. Go on. That, accompanied with her beauty, she was, she was blonde, topless, and gorgeous tits. Bleeding. Yeah. And then she had this mob of raging men. They were screaming and cursing her. The chick was in control. She was untouchable. I mean, how could I not get aroused? Aroused is one thing. You had an erection. Maybe, maybe it's because I was leaning. Because what? Huh? You're doing it again. What? Keep me in the conversation, please. Leaning. I was leaning. Oh, leaning. Against, against the brass guard. Then I'm totally lost. In front of the painting. The brass card, so. You know, it's a physiological thing. Sometimes, you know, your dick touches something and it gets hard. I'm sorry, but these things happen. So it's because you... I was leaning against the brass guard in front of a painting. Huh. And maybe... Go on, go on. Maybe it was a combination. This is getting good. A combination, you know, of the, of the painting of St. Barbara and then that hard smoothness of the brass bar against my groin took me back to Catholic school when the, when the nuns would take all the kids to church. I just remember how good it felt to lean into the edge of the pew, just slowly, you know, grinding against it. <laughs> Are you telling me you dry humped a church pew? <laughs> discreetly. Discreetly. Yes. Very discreetly. Mm. Did you come? <laughs> Once I was grinding into the pew watching Diane Swakowski across the aisle. And you came? Right in my pants. <laughs> Did you come today? <laughs> no. 
I have a little more control now than when I was 11 years old. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe if you came, you wouldn't have had to embarrass me, squeezing my breast. I was kidding. It wasn't funny. It was an innocent pinch. Innocent pinch? You plucked my tit hard. It hurt in front of all those people. We were walking away from the St. Barbara painting. I was mortified. It, it seemed appropriate. Appropriate. <laughs> appropriate. <laughs> to humiliate me. And then you backed me up against those phones. Those booths were perfect. For what? You know. Oh, for your dick. That's what. Your dick. Mr. I'm such a man I could fuck anywhere, Mr. Wham Bam, thank you, man! Like we've never screwed in a public place. Give me the fucking cigarette. We always used to screw in public places. How come you have to hold the cigarettes anyway? You remember the Liberty Bell? And I Barbara paid Bushes? for the cigarettes, Vince! The, where's the sentimental Give me the fucking cigarettes now! God. Sentimental, you fuck! Sentimental! Those experiences were painful for me. Painful? Very! I never wanted to fuck in public places. So what? You wanted to do that. You wanted to fuck in public places. What? You're saying that what? You, you did it for me? Did I ever initiate one of those little experiences, Vince? No, but then again, you don't initiate any experiences. Fuck you! <laughs> you know, those happen to be some of the most cherished memories that I have. You never told me this. <laughs> It's another secret, right? You and your fucking secrets. It's been six years and you never told me this. How come you always need words anyway? Because I'm a human being, all right? In case you haven't noticed, we have a hole in the head and it talks. If it was so painful to you, then why didn't you ever just stop me? I learned to ignore it. Like a lot of other things. As a matter of fact, I've gotten so good at that I can now go entire days, weeks, months, years. Totally ignoring my feelings. Yeah. That's not my fault. You don't listen. You don't even know you're not listening. You probably never even heard me. Just like the men in the painting. Oh, now what is that? What in the hell is that supposed? Am I supposed to participate in that bullshit? What well, I'm not! A mob. What? Never listen. You said I'm persecuting you? They're too scared. That's so you. If they listen, they might hear her. If they heard her, they might understand her. And if they understood her, they might even become her. And if they became That's her... That's so you to put yourself into her shoes to justify all of your nonsense by looking away like you I am not into that looking pine in the sky away. instead of dealing with me I'm right I'm, here I'm and dealing, right now. I'm fucking dealing with you. She compares herself with a fucking saint. Do you want to cut off my breast? Would you even feel it? You heard. Stones you feel would, no you, pain. You would do that. Yeah? That's what it would take. I'd love to cut you. Stones. Yes? Just I'm not to let you feel something. I'm not fucking stone. You're a fucking I'm stone. Fletch. And Fletch, you, you fucking nothing. never had the hands. You fucking asshole! You fucking bitch! You fucking coward! Fucking do it! Fucking, fuck, you fucking, fuck, you fuck, fucking yeah. cut him off! Yeah. You, you motherfucker! You cut fuck, him fucking off! Fuck, you fuck, 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 fucking corn fuck, screw! Huh? You fucking asshole! You wanna play? You're all a fucking bunch of asshole! You fucking 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 asshole! You What the fuck? I... What is it that keeps swindling us into thinking we can work things out? What the hell happened? There was a day when I did actually believe in you. 
I remember when I believed in you. Yes, it felt good. Safe, right? Yeah. Nothing feels safe anymore. What's the opposite of safe? Maybe we should work backwards. Backwards? To try and find out why or how everything got so fucked up. Probably have to go back to our first date. <laughs> Which was coincidentally at the museum. <laughs> Which was your idea? I didn't know where to take you. You still don't. There's a warning sign right there. You told me you love museums. You lied to me. Of course I lied. <laughs> so everything I thought was safe wasn't. I... I was afraid I'd lose you and instead I completely lost myself. What a mind fuck. What do you mean? To realize the person you're with is the opposite of the person you met or thought you met. Constantly waiting for that person to come back again. If they ever existed in the first place. Fucking illusions. Living in ridiculous hope. And a fight like today will happen. We hurt each other, and then everything gets gentle for a little while. Gentle like it once was. Before the curtains opened. Before the noise. I, uh... I wanna... Knock and see if Mrs. Podutsky's still alive. <laughs> Vince. Yeah. Barbara died screaming.